besties, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is long past due that I do a monthly favorites. I don't do it every month because honestly, I don't have notable favorites every single month. I kind of like to collect mine and make notes of mine. And then when I feel like I have enough stuff, I like to share it. The very first favorite I'm sharing with you guys today. Oh, it's so good. So this is the Impossible Mascara by Kier Weiss. They are sponsoring this video today. So huge shout out to them because they sent me this mascara and I freaking loved it loved it. New staple item for me. Cannot live without it. It is so, so good. I'm passionate about mascara because A, I really don't like to wear false lashes and B, I have the most stubbly little lashes. First of all, let me just talk about my own personal experience with this mascara. What I love about this most of all is that it doesn't, I feel like it doesn't weigh the lashes down because I have to curl my lashes. I have a pretty serious curl routine. I use a lash curler, I use a lash heated curler, just to try and get them a little lifted. I feel like some mascaras out there are just too heavy, it almost weighs them down, so your curl's gone like within an hour. I have never had such lifted little lashes. I mean, just on myself, and I'm sure you notice a difference on you. If you have shorter lashes, you'll know what I'm talking about. If they're just not that long, I notice a lift. And these look so, so good. It doesn't weigh them down. That's just the first thing I wanted to say from my own personal experience, what I love about it the most. First of all, how sleek and sexy is this tube? And it's like fancy. So Kira Wyas was developed by a Danish makeup artist. Her name is Kristen Kier. She's an absolute champion at sustainability, at refillable products, recycled products. And she created this mascara. It is certified clean and organic. It gives volume, it gives length, and of course it's long lasting. I love the wand, you guys. First of all, it's a double-sided wand. It has a curved side, you can see the curved. That boosts your volume from side to side. And then you flip it here and it has a flat side. That is meant for defining and lengthening. Other than keeping my lashes lifted, what I love is that they stay fluffy and like silky soft. They don't get crunchy and brittle. Like some mascaras by the end of the day, I'm afraid to even like touch my eyes because I'm worried they're just going to break off. You guys, it stays so fluffy. I can't even explain it. It is soft. It's not like crumbly and icky. The formula has Akashi gum in it. That boosts your volume and your structure and the stability of the lashes. The formula is so, so creamy. This is because it uses sustainably sourced beeswax and carnauba wax, which I believe is how you pronounce that. I heard it, heard it a few different ways, but I think I got it right. Carnauba wax. <laughs> that keeps it creamy and makes sure it never clumps. It also has raspberry fruit water that repairs and conditions. It also has sunflower seed oil, which is really cool because it helps to actually stop the breakage of your lashes, therefore helping them grow. Lastly, marula oil which is a favorite of mine. I have used marula oil for years, mostly in hair products. This actually has it in the mascara. That nourishes and protects. It has antioxidants, it has vitamin C, it has vitamin E in it. Marula oil is just like ugh, everything. I love marula oil. It's also certified organic and free of parabens, silicones, sulfates, all that yucky stuff. Okay, one of my favorite things about the mascara, it's like not even formula related, it's refillable. Look at this. You just pull it out of its casing just like that and you can actually refill the mascara and keep the nice casing. That keeps costs down for you, which is fantastic. The packaging itself is made from 50% recycled plastic, infinitely recyclable aluminum, and recycled nylon. The Impossible Mascara will run you $32 and I do have a 20% off code for you guys, which is fantastic. I love that. It'll only be $25.60 for you. Once you try it and you love it, because I know that you will, the refill of it is only $26. I just, I think it's fantastic. I love companies that care about sustainability. Thank you to Kier Weiss for sponsoring my video. If you guys want to check it out, I will have it linked down below with my discount code for you guys as well. Next, keeping with the sustainability theme, I know I've showed you guys these before. I have to show you them again. I am so like dedicated to getting people off of aerosol dry shampoo. It's like my mission in life, I swear. I'm so dedicated to getting people to stop using the spray dry shampoos. They're terrible for the environment, but also you get like next to nothing in those bottles. The Like the Batiste, I love the product, but how long does it truly last you? I mean, if you're oily haired like I am, you might understand this. And if you don't use it that much, maybe it's not that big of a deal, but I could go through one of those in two weeks, maybe even less, I could go through it. And I like a little, even on a clean hair day, just to give me a little zhuzh. Okay, I'm gonna start with the one that you've probably heard me talk about a thousand times, cause I love it. And I'm, I've had this for over a year. 
over a year of dry shampoo. Can you imagine in one little container? It's unbelievable. You barely need any. This is the Drop Dead Gorgeous Dry Shampoo. I don't know if it's by Wanderlust or if it's by Handmade Heroes because it says both. I want to say it's by Handmade Heroes, but I could be completely wrong. This is literally just like a, I'll, I'll, let me do a little demo. It is so easy to use. It actually comes in different shades. I have the one for darker hair. That's why it looks a little gray. You'll sprinkle a little right in your root. This is not just like a volumizing sprinkle. Like it soaks up all the oil in your hair like you would not believe. It is so, so good. Then you just, you know, mash it in. I use a brush because I typically use this when my hair is super oily. And when I take it with a brush, it just, I can't, you guys, I can't explain it. It is so, so good. It's all natural, it's cruelty free, and it's vegan. It even has the little PETA stamp of approval. But I'm telling you, you will have this for like a year and you will not run out of it. You need the smallest amount, it's so good. This is the newest one that I've tried, but I've been using it probably for about four months. This is the Acure Dry Shampoo. I like this one because it smells good. It's like a pepperminty smell. Mm, yeah, it smells good and I love the top. It's like just resealable right there. You know what I mean? This one, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I use, I lose the top of this one all the freaking time. It's why it doesn't have a top right now because it's really small and I set it down and it's, before I know it, it's gone because I'm like a wreck. I'm always like flailing about. Who says that? I'm always flailing about. Um, anyway, this one, it's just as good. It really, really is. Uh, 100% vegan, zero pretentious. I just realized it said that. I don't know why it says that, but... <laughs> It's not pretentious. You guys, I cannot recommend it enough. I can't remember if I got this one at Sephora or if I got it on Amazon. Either way, I will have it linked down below for you. Um, it also has rosemary in it, so it, it just smells good. It's kind of spa-like. Okay, next, I'm like a little embarrassed to show this. I don't know why, why am I so embarrassed? You know what I think it is? It's because everyone in the world right now has the, Di the Dyson Air Wrap things. I don't have one, okay? I'm like the last, I can't do it. I can't spend the money on it. I want to so bad and I think maybe, maybe for like my birthday this year, I will do it. I don't know. I just think of all I could do with that money for, I mean, it looks amazing. I want it so bad, but it's hard. I can't, I don't know. It's hard. I've not, I've not gotten there. I've not been able to purchase it yet. I just, I can't bring myself to do it. I just can't. I'm like, that's like two months of groceries. I like can't do it. But for curls, I've kind of gotten away from using the wands we were all so crazy about. I am back to using a good old clamper. <laughs> I was like, I don't love the wand thing anymore. I like miss having a clamp, you know, I miss this. So I got one with a clamp and I'm pretty sure this is just from Conair. It is pretty cheap. It's not fancy. I'm not even telling you that it's the best out there. I'm not telling you that it's amazing, but I am telling you that I do love it. And it was super cheap, so I love that about it. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna last. This is why I was so afraid to put this in my favorites video because I actually don't know. I've been using it for about six months and I really, really, really love this little guy. I just know that it's like probably not the best quality. So I don't wanna steer you in the wrong direction. But let me just say, if you are looking for a cheap curling iron, I wanted something like big like this because I'm kind of like falling out of liking really curly hair. I just, if you've noticed my past, view, past few videos, I just kind of like a bodified wave almost. I want my, my hair to have movement, but my hair is really too heavy to ever hold a curl. It just doesn't. Um, but I wanted something just to give me a little zhuzh. And I have these bangs, which I didn't curl today, but normally I would, I literally take this and I just clamp my bangs in it and just real quick, I roll it back like once. And then I just like, poop, I put them in a curler and let them cool down and then I put them down. And then I have these like amazing bangs. I don't have them today, but I'm like so embarrassed to be showing this, but I love it so much. This little Con Air curling rod. I will, of course, again, link it down below. I think it's in my Amazon shop. Um, yeah, just check there. Everything will be linked down below, but I really like it. I really like this curling iron. And it's been nice having a clamp again. It really, I like, I don't know why I got away from the clamp. We all went so like curling rod crazy for a little while. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like back into the clamp. I love the clamp, so I love this. Oh, also in the hair world, this is the best heat tamer spray that I have ever used. For real, for real. This is the Biolage Thermal Active Spray. It is so good. It actually gives your hair a little bit of hold. It's, there's a scale of hold, one, two, three, and it's a two. 
<laughs> I don't know if that makes a difference to you, but I love this. I spritz my hair with this before I blow dry it, um, but most importantly, before I curl it. I swear to you, this is my key for my bangs staying like nice and flopped all day. I always hear people with the longer bangs about how they get weighed down and like before the end of the day, they're not nice and flopped. No, you have to use this. This makes all the difference in the world. It hold your curl and you, then you don't have to weigh it down with like so much hairspray and stuff. You can still flip it and flop it all day. It's like movable. It is perfect if you want that like gorgeous bouncy hair, which is what I want. I'm sick of having like hairsprayed hair and it's like concrete. You know what I mean? It like keeps it light and fluffy and bouncy, but it holds the curl like you would not believe. It's so good. Biolage, thermal, and oh, it's not aerosol. It's just this little spritzer, and which is amazing because you can reuse this bottle, which I will um, after I'm done. Just fill it, you know, I always need a bottle of water everywhere. So actually I'll probably refill it with water and like give it a mix and see if I can get one more use out of it. Like if there's still some product lingering in there, we'll see, I don't know. <laughs> I try to use everything for like all I can get, you know what I mean? <laughs> so um, it's so good, you guys though. And again, no parabens, la da 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 da, good stuff. Let's jump into the skincare realm for a secchi. So, oh, did I lose this lid too? Oh, I think I just found it. I'm telling you, me and lids are no, we're not friends. Okay, we don't even like each other's pictures on Instagram. I hate lids. I lose lids. This is the rich, and in case there's any, you know, babies in the room, I know a lot of mamas watch me. Um, rich, B-I-T-C-H. I'm getting better at not swearing because I recognize that there's you know, kids around. Sometimes you're just watching your video and you don't see a curse coming at you. And it's like, oh my God, why did she just swear? You know, it's crazy. Anyway, Rich B-I-T-C-H Moisturizer by Freck Beauty. I took a chance on this because if I'm not mistaken, I don't know how great the reviews were. I wanted a new daytime moisturizer and I wanted a different brand. I just wanted new. I'm not gonna be honest with you. I just wanted new. I really like this one. I think my skin has been looking so, so good. It has vitamin C in it, um, has cactus. I don't know what benefit that is, but it has cactus in it. Is that okay for the cactuses? Now I'm like, now I'm kind of like, oh, I gotta look into that a little bit. I don't know what their cactus process is. I love it though, you guys. It's really, really light and yet it's rich because I do have dry spots. I have dryness on my cheeks and I have dryness on my forehead. Um, so I like something that gives me like a moisture barrier for the day, like for the day. I don't wanna be dried by 2 p.m., you know what I mean? And I feel like this really, really does it. I love this moisturizer. I like the packaging of it. Um, it's been fantastic. I'm really, really, really enjoying this. I don't think I have much else from Freck Beauty. Oh, I, have, I think I have a blush from Freck Beauty that I really like. Um, but this is a brand this year that I'd like to explore more. I don't have a ton of their products and I really want to try some more things. So I like this moisturizer a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Next up, oh my goodness, I like this so much. This is the Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin Hot Oil Double Cleansing Mop. Double Cleansing Balm. I did not pay for this. I do want to be forward. They had sent this to me a while ago. I love it. I love it. This is not sponsored. It's so good. I love that it's not fragranced, first of all. It's so hard to see where I've dug my hand. There, you can see it there. This is like a hot oil makeup remover. I, You know I'm so into these, if you know me. I love having like a very lengthy makeup removing process. I am anti-cleansing wipes anymore. I've not used makeup cleansing wipes in a really long time. So I love products like this that get my makeup off. It heats up, it like warms up a little bit, not like ow, but it like it's it warms up as you're as you're rubbing it in and it kind of goes from this waxy. I mean, if you've used a makeup melter, you know what it does. But it's so nice. And I think the jar, it's this nice glass jar. The jar is so nice, so we can reuse it. I would probably, once this is done, I think this would be great for putting my bobby pins in or putting jewelry or something like that. I'm always finding ways to reuse bottles and, and jars and things. It's like my favorite thing to do. So I could find a hundred knickknacks to put in this, um, which I will, <laughs> but it's really good and you get so much product, you guys. I love it. I cannot recommend it enough. And it looks like it, you get a ton because this is, I've probably been using this for about two months and I'm only on this, you barely need any. The way that it carries out, it's un. Believable. It gets any mascara off. My brow 
products, which sounds crazy, but I tend to cake my brows up. I really, really do. Especially if I'm using like the got to be gel and all that. Like it's, I need something that's going to remove it from my brows, but not lift my brows out because my brow, I swear I just go like this and my eyebrows fall out. Same with my eyelashes. So I like something that's going to just get the product out without me needing to rub like crazy. I cannot recommend it enough. It is so, so good. This is like armpit care, not skin care, but okay. I love the native deodorants. I do. I normally use the, I want to say it's like pine scented. I really like that scent. This was weird for me, but I'm not a big floral person. We'll just leave it at that. This is the lavender and rose. I was really surprised at how much I love this. I actually also have a body wash in this scent. Um, and I'll be honest, the rose I really don't notice so much, but the lavender smells beautiful. I just wanted to give a note about that because normally I'm not into florals. And if you're like me, um, I would give this a go. It actually smells really nice, really light and refreshing. And I love lavender. I have like a sneeze stuck in my face. Oh my God. And I'm like staring at the lights. That's what they say to do. But like it won't come out. And I'm telling you, it's like stuck in my face. How, what do I do? Like, please help. Okay. Give me a minute. I need to try and get this sneeze out. I can't get it out. This is okay. I have to tell you one of the biggest annoyances to me in life is when I lose a sneeze. I love a good sneeze and it's like, I feel like I've lost it. I can't get it out and that's going to drive me nuts. I will feel off for the rest of the day. I will feel sick because I didn't get that sneeze out. Oh, it's driving me crazy. I can't get the sneeze out. <laughs> okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you ever like have to sneeze and then you don't? So it feels weird. Let's get on to makeup. I hate how much I love this. <sighs> because I could never afford it again. <laughs> this is the Yves Saint Laurent new um, bare tint, bare look tint. What shade do I use? Oh, is it new? I don't know. Shade number four, is that what I use? Mind you, I use this sparingly because this ain't cheap, but I've been loving this. I love how it makes my skin look. I don't have it on today. Today I have on my NARS foundation. Um, I, I, I'm sure I've used it in a video by now. If not, I'm sure there's one coming up. It looks so beautiful. I mean, it just makes you look so healthy. It, it's just, it's healthy skin. I will apply this like pretty, I would say light to medium because I like, I don't want to build coverage with this because I'll go through it like crazy. So I like to apply a layer of this all over. And then of course I take some concealer on my problem areas or if I'm having like a breakout and I'll use concealer in those areas. But it makes my skin look so healthy. It was worth every penny. I'm glad I got to try it because I'm sure I'll never be able to buy it again. It's been fantastic. <laughs> I highly, if you have the means, I highly recommend it. I don't even know if these are still sold anymore. So I'm terrified to show you these, but I am just, this is what I've been grabbing over the month. I love them. Um, I have been hardcore back into using my Fenty matchsticks for my bronzer and contour. I don't have it on today. That's like the story of this whole video. I was filming before this, so I don't have these products on today, but um. I am so, so, so into my matchsticks again. I primarily use Amber, which is super cool toned, but I really like it for my nose contour. I use Amber for my nose contour because it's nice and light. I don't like a real, like even this nose contour, I did a little heavy today and I'm a little self-conscious about it. Um, for my cheeky contour, I like a more bronzy look. I've been using the shade Mocha. It is so good. It is so perfect. I love it. And lastly, for a little highlight on the, I, I'll honestly just go like bloop, 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 like three little dots right here because I don't want it for concealing, but I do want it to lift and brighten a little bit. So this is linen and it's literally just a cream and they're so good. And I've had these for so long. I don't even know if I should be using them anymore. I love that they're magnet. They stick together so nice. Ugh, I love them. This blush, I don't even know if they sell this anymore, so I'm terrified to show it to you, but I'm just, this is what I've been loving, okay? This is just it. This is the Milani Cheeky Cheek Kiss in the shade I Cherish You. You know what? Let me stop being a lazy B, lazy B word and just Google it and see if they still share. Let's see. Milani Cheek Kiss. Oh, they do. They sell it. They sell it at Ulta. 10 bucks. 10 bucks. How fantastic is that? There you go. No problems. Um, this is, uh, like I said, 150, I cherish you. I know it looks super loud. It is so beautiful on the face. Once you blend it in, I hate hand swatches. You know I do, because they don't demonstrate it enough, but it almost gives you that sunburnt look that I love. Like it just looks like you've been out in the sun and you're a little flush from it. 
I love that it's not too pink, it's not too rosy, it actually has a little more orange to it, I would say, but it's not. It's I guess it's almost even like a red, um, but not like a cool tone red. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I know I have a video with this coming up. It is such, it is such a standout blush to me. I love it. This, I am so shocked to be in a favorites video because this is nothing new and I can't believe I got back into this, but I have to tell you, it's specifically because it's a mini. This is the Benefit Hula Bronzer Mini. I'm obsessed with this mini. I love this. I don't know what it is. I'm so obsessed with this thing. I use it every single day. I love the little brush. I use it with its little brush. I go doo 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 and boop boop boop. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know what it is, you guys. I'm so obsessed with this mini bronzer. I can't, like, I don't even want a full size one. I want all the minis in the world. I don't know why I'm so crazy about this, but I am. I have it on today. This is the one thing I have on today. I have it on today. It's a little heavy, I'll give you that. But, you guys, I love it. And you probably have a hula bronzer in your collection, let's be honest. So, I love that because you probably won't be tempted to buy it, which I love. So, I am so back into the mini. I love the mini. I love the brush. I really think it's that mini brush because it just so perfectly goes where I need it to go. Um, and I'm crazy about it. I feel so wild. I'm crazy about it. I don't know. I don't know. Can we talk about my brow game for a minute? I so flip and flop between like, oh, I'll use the soap. I'll use the gel. I'll go back to the, the you know, like a, oh my God, what that, a, br a brow gel, like a, I lost forgot what it's called like a, like the benefit like standard brow gel right now I'm back into these waxy type of brows so this is what I use um primarily I will say my favorite and I think I just have these two um so I don't have a great frame of reference but the Patrick Ta it looks disgusting so I don't even want to show it to you I love this Patrick Ta one I really really do and I just spray it with a little makeup setting spray and I'll take whatever eyebrow brush I have on hand and I just fluff my I love how fluffy it makes my brows when I try to get this result with a brow gel even the benefit one I can't do it I like need the thickness of this this is just in clear I also have it in the brunette or in the I oh my god I just almost spilled my coffee in the I'm sorry tinted it's not brunette it's just called tinted I have the tinted meh I like the clear, I just, because I don't need the tint, you know what I mean? I use my brow pencil, I don't need a tint. So I like the clear. This one I like a little less, but it's really like, it's it's more, I, I just love how much you get with this one. This is the Iconic Brow Silk. I love this. I They sent this to me, I think last year, and I did a sponsorship um, with this product, and I love it to this day, and I don't they don't send me PR, nothing. I love this product. It is so good. And I need to find the brush that it came with because I'm still just using, I mean, I just use what I have on hand, typically an eyebrow brush spoolie thing, but they have an actual brush that almost looks like a toothbrush. And like when you use that, it, it's, you have, it's like the fluffiest brows you've ever seen. Um, it's so good though. And same thing, I just spray this. Um, you, oh, you can use it wet or dry. Oh, that's interesting. I've never thought to use it dry. I like it wet because I feel like it dries and it keeps them up nice. Nice. So that one's by Iconic London. This one, did I say by Patrick Ta? I don't think I did. The Patrick Ta Shaping Wax. I'll link them both down below. I love them though. I'm so big into them right now. Okay, I have two eye products that I wanna talk about, what I've been using the most in one face product. So, Charlotte Tilbury, how do you do it? I love Charlotte Tilbury so much, I really do. And I always try to not like buy into the hype, like, you know, even if like if something's really expensive, I don't just want to love it because it's expensive. But dang, do I love this palette. This is the Hollywood Flawless Eye Filter Luxury Palette. And it is so good. I just love this. So typically what I do is I'll put a little foundation or concealer on my eyes. And I run um, mostly, I'll start with this. I run that all over the inner half. Then I'll take this brown one on the outer half and then I just smoke out my lash line with this black one. I love this though because it's not a matte black, it's like a satin glowy black. So it doesn't look like you just have black everywhere. It Because they're all shimmers, they all mold together nicely and yet it gives you this like beautiful eye. I am so crazy about this palette. It is worth every penny. It's so good. I also cannot believe how much I've been using this. This is the <laughs> ColourPop Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer Palette. We're way out of the holidays, but 
I, I can't get enough of it. I use this palette almost every single day. You can kind of tell which ones I really tend to jump into. I go this one, this one, this one, and these two on the end, and then some of the transitions, but it's just everything I want. I love it. I love this palette, you guys. If they still have this available and you did not pick it up, I highly recommend it because it's just, it's a go-to for me. I love it, and it's so cute. Also from ColourPop, um, this face palette, I mean, everybody loves these, so this won't be a shock to anyone, but this is the Extra Glazed Cheek Palette. I have this on today as well, and I think it's cute as a button. I love this palette. The blush is that type of bright pink that I want. The highlighter is so, so cute. Oh, I'm sorry, right here. Um, and this blush is so, so good. These palettes are so great. I mean, oh, fudge! Okay, I'm gonna have to deal with that in a little bit. It's like way farther than I can reach. They're so good though, I love them, and that one's probably my favorite out of all of them. Um, so good. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna end it here because I don't want you to be here all day. Um, but if you guys wanna check out any of my favorites, I will have them listed down below. Hopefully I had some good suggestions for you guys. And I know a lot of my stuff isn't like the newest, newest, newest. It's just not how I roll. I like to show you what I'm using. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, everything will be linked down below. I've also been, I've had a lot of requests for an Amazon shop. So I just went ahead and I put it together. It's down there if you wanna check it out. I have makeup and just lifestyle things that I love. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So I wanna thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.